speaking of CSS, there are um, the uh, the large background image, which is there in the footer, and then the large uh, image in the header are both actually managed through CSS. So um, to swap those out, you would need access to those. Um, and I could show you, like, at least here locally, um, so what I could do is, is I could go ahead and move this um, to the custom CSS panel and, oops, and I'll just show you how to swap those images out. Um, it, and it, this shouldn't be difficult because it sounds like you, um, you're at least familiar with, with the, you know, CSS and, you know, images and things like that. So um, let me just do that really quickly and um, just recording it so that you'll be able to kind of play it back, slow it down, whatever you need to do. But um, so the built-in um, CSS area is you would go, let me start over. Uh, you go to design and then custom CSS. <laughs> and it's kind of laughable how tiny this is. But what you can do is open this in its own window. Um, it's not the best. In fact, I I don't trust this enough to, to use it. Um, it used to be better actually in version six because what I've noticed, let me paste this in. Yeah, it says unsaved. Well, at least it says save there, so. Okay, so what will happen is um, all of the styles that I'm using um, so here's what happens when, when we save is there's all the platform style sheets, um, tweak.less, that's actually, um, um, the built-in style configuration, you know, like what, what, what's built into Squarespace where you see like the controls in the left panel, um, that's, that's what those code that, that that's the that's that code right there sorry um and then all these other ones are, are also used and then the, the one that i'm using is is custom dot less so um i'm using mostly css but there's also some less in there as well um and uh less would just allow almost like a shorthand um like nested styles so so like here's that home page section and it ends here so it starts and ends there and then within the home page section we have this so um so so with that we can you know we can we, we can basically call like one area here's the focus area section and then within there we can style the h1 the h3 heading and all those things so i don't want to go too deeply into the nerd forest on those things but what i wanted to show you was how you will be able to um, edit these areas, um, specifically the, these photo areas. Um, so let me go grab the footer one too. Uh, features go. Footer section rolled wheat. So there's, there's the footer one. I'll just grab. It's actually all the way down here. So I guess my footer one was pretty big, um, but I'll, I'll go ahead and get it. And then what I will do is I'll just put it there. And actually what you could do is, is if you wanted to just swap out just that image, this will do it for you okay so we'll say um home page well yeah i'll just say home page header section and then this is the footer photo section i guess i guess that'll make sense um and then within this we would have footer photo footer section I guess these aren't nested, so
There's just the rest of this that is. Okay. So now, if now if I say save, um, okay. So let's go look at these files then really quickly, um, and I'll just open up a new a new browser window and I'll just paste that in there. So so there's there's our rolled wheat file, um, and if I copy this. Um, 1500 by 1066 is that one and then the other one I mean I mean you can certainly take a look at this too but um, and then the other one is actually let me do this 1500 by 1066 1500 by 1066 I'll just put it in that comment right there then you'll have it and then this one. Might be the same. 1500 by 1000 on this one. So um, 1500 by 1000 should be, that's a 16 by nine image, I'm pretty sure. Um, 1500 by 1000. Okay, so those are in there. So, so when you want to, you know, get a new image, you can do that. Um, and I'll basically just uh, let's see if I can do this without. Yeah. Um, what we can do then is let me just go ahead and save this image, and I'll, I'll make a JPEG again, and I'll export this as header test okay and um, what we can do then in 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 the CSS panel is um, it's weird they look like they're not active but I know they are okay um, you can actually upload other images um, and sometimes I'll just do it this way: is just make it like a like like a, a full commented area, and then you could actually just put your cursor there, and then you can say manage custom files, and then you can upload files this way. Um, but I found that that these sort of images. So here's here's uploading that that one there, and then wherever you have your cursor, if you click, it'll plop it in there. Um, and then you can click that again. Um, but but you can really kind of only use this kind of panel for CSS stuff. I mean I mean I you know, I guess you could upload images and then use them elsewhere on the site, but it's just weird. Um, um, so what I'll do is actually I'll go ahead and save this one just so we have it down there. And again, this is just a commented, you know, like start, stop comments. Um, so you can put whatever you want in there. Um, all right, so I've swapped that out. And then if I hit save, then um, actually I can hit close on this then. And, and site, there's the site. There's the site. Um, oh, and then once I've saved it, it, it'll actually appear over here. So it's it's a little weird. Um, they've, they've updated it since I've used it last, so I, I feel a little better about it now. So I've, I've just refreshed it. And clear cache and refresh, maybe. I'm wanting to see if, um, well, maybe my local code is going to override this. So, thanks for bearing with me. Um, uh, 
what I'll do here then is I'll just comment this out on my code. And I'll do the same here. Nope, not there. There we go. So now if I save that, it's going to upload that. All right. Clear cache, reload. It must be working because it's broken. <laughs> um, let me figure out where, where we're at here. Well, looks like I'm editing this video. Oh. Design, custom CSS. Oh, I see what happened here. <laughs> so I did this and I didn't, I pretty much uncommented all of my code. Hey, all right, cool. Yeah, so these are now on and mine are turned off. And so we'll just close this. Oh yeah, it's already there. Test. Um, and now I'm thinking that probably if I undo and undo, save, upload, I'm thinking that the Squarespace, um, the Squarespace one will still win. Yep, so cool. All right, so this is a true override, um, which means that's live right now on the site. And if we go back to the CSS area, custom CSS, and I'm just gonna say, select all X, save, and there we go, we've, we've, we've reverted back to my local code. Um, so cool, let me put that back in. Save, test, cool. Very fast too. All right, so open a new window and now, and now yes, you would have full access to, uh, to override any CSS on the site. Um, at this point, um, I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. So whatever you're going to, um, original header image, I'll just put that there and let's do this just so you have it. Cool. Um, get rid of that then. All right. So if if you follow this, then uh, basically, um, if you're on the site and if you go to design, custom CSS, um, you'll basically have access to um, to override those images. And I've I've gone ahead and said um, on the home page on the home page header section, go ahead and use fifteen hundred by one thousand pixels, so fifteen hundred wide by one thousand high, um, and JPEG would would be ideal because it has to load in, so probably probably not a PNG file, and then wide and high on this as well. 
and should be good to go. So um, just just keep keep in mind that if if you're gonna swap out those images, that you would want to um, that you would want to keep kind of the same contrast level uh, because. We, we do have black text here, so so if it's like a dark image, you wouldn't be able to see it too well. The same same goes for this area here, where you would um, probably want to keep something fairly light. Anyway, uh, hopefully that's helpful and um, cool. <laughs> if you have any questions, let me know.